33 in the afternoon. I hope everyone who has an opportunity to embrace this is doing well. I want to ask a favor before I share this message. I'm going to call it a message because I feel uh, very aligned with using those words for this particular time of us interacting. I want to ask you to allow me to take my time with this. So I actually have no cards and you know that's not anything unusual sometimes I free flow sometimes I have some bullet points but today I have no cards that are very specific and I want to just read off the note cards right because I really don't want to miss anything I feel like what I'm going to share today at this time is specifically intentional for someone's timeline and so I'm not gonna read from the note cards right I'm gonna talk to you we're gonna have a conversation but you may find me you know grabbing the note card because I don't want to miss any part of this you know as I was getting this message or this download to share with you my pen was just going right um, and so for that reason I want to ask you to allow me to take my time with this message you see um, in the title it says full circle moment and so if this is your first time coming on live with me today hello if it's your first time or you're catching me on the replay put hashtag replay in the comments if you're not new to the renew camp put hashtag renew in the comments and periodically throughout the broadcast if you just want to hashtag she prospers again that will be very ideal for what we're going to talk about on today so first i want to start let me really quick briefly for those of you who are new i'm tanya wilson i'm a master life and business coach and one day i'm going to go into detail about the master that's in front of the life and business coaches not my reason for putting it is is definitely not what most people would think you know most people look at the word as a form of mastery but that's not the space that it's coming from and one day when there's time I'll, I'll talk about that but I don't want to get off from uh, what I feel led to share with you today so I am going to ask a few more favors other than you taking your time with me number one is that you share this broadcast out if you've come on before and you found value and what I share if your life is transformed in any measure because of our connection here uh, please share this out allow someone else an opportunity to hear this message as well and then number two thing I'm gonna ask is that we have a conversation that you let me know that you're here even if you come back on the replay so I want to start with uh, full circle uh, for those of you connected, you know the name of my brand is Renew Full Circle. But I, I kind of want to explain Full Circle in this moment for you and where I'm coming from with this message, message uh, that I'll be sharing. So Full Circle <clears throat> is where you see yourself back where you started, but at a different version. Full Circle is where you see yourself right back where you started, but at a different version. Now, when I say right back where you started, I don't mean in your gloom and doom or in, you know, the struggle, any of that. But it's it's a place that you started, something you may have seen a while ago, and it's now come full circle. You're now seeing that moment in time again, but you're seeing it from a different space because you're a new version than you were when you first visualize that or you first got that particular download so full circle is where you see yourself back where you started but as a different version of you now a full circle moment happens through your vision you know the vision that you have that embodies your goals your vision and your dreams right so a full circle moment happens through your vision you will have these different moments over time 
as you're journeying along in the vision where you see yourself back where you were begin uh, before, but at a different version of you. And so remember those those moments, because I had one today. This is why we're talking about this. Um, those moments are a part of your vision, different times where you'll see how the vision is that that moment is an embodiment of your goals, dreams, and visions. So your vision is also further out than where you are now. I want you guys to stay with me. I want all of this to connect for you all. Um, I'm going to go over here too so I can see comments. I realized I was missing some of the comments the other day and I would love you know, to be able to respond uh, real time while we're talking, if it's at all possible. My screen keeps locking on me, right? But your vision is always further out than where you are now. But what happens, God gives us these glimpses and pieces of the vision, right? And, and the way that we access those glimpses and those piece, pieces of the vision is by becoming the person that can embody all that comes with what we've seen. Now, if you're a visionary, a trailblazer, you get downloads, you know, you, you see things a lot further than where they are, you see yourself a lot further than where you are, oftentimes, as humans, we make the mistake of running right to that thing that we see. Now, I think it's important to move, right? Because it's a lot of us who will be so complacent that we never get to it. But for many of us, we'll move right into that thing. I, it's important to take the next step, right? But the understanding that we walk those steps out in different phases. I'm going to talk about those three phases uh, in just in just a moment. I remember several times when I look back on my, my entrepreneurial career where I launched something and felt like I was so much further ahead of what was going on around me, right? And the part that I understand now that I didn't understand then is fully embodying the person that could walk that out, right? Because oftentimes when we move into that new space, we haven't fully become the person that can embody all the stuff that comes with it. And we'll make the mistake of thinking that if we aren't actualizing exactly what we saw, that it's not for us or we're not doing it right or something of that nature. Now, if you my people and this is registering with you, uh, put me in the comments, let me know if this is registering with you. Let me know if I'm speaking uh, the language of the people who, who this message is, is for, right? And so remember I said what happens is, you know, as God gives us a download or, or you know, this vision for our life and we begin to move into it, if we're not embodying the person that can fully walk it out, we, it can easily be mistaken as if it's not for you or if it's not the right timing. And in the world space that we're in now, we have, as a collective, been in a space of collecting information instead of embodying it and practicing it. So let me make this practical and plain. So I've had coaches and mentors who I have found extremely valuable in my own personal process, building my brand, you know, embodying new versions of who I am as I walk out my vision. And one thing that I've learned is that oftentimes they would share something with me, my gosh in heaven, that was so crucial and important to my growth and my next level. But because I didn't have the mindset at that time to embrace fully what they were saying, it only registered to me on the surface level. And so what that would look like is I would, you know, go on with my journey and go do all the things. When the most pivotal information they gave me 
was attached to who I needed to become not what I needed to do y'all if you're with me let me know and so I, I share that because I was sharing with you that as we get these different downloads or we have this big vision or goals and dreams for our life and we you know move into doing the things right because I've also had coaches who have given me some tactical thing to do that is very necessary because what if this phase of the vision came to pass and you have this huge influx of people coming in and the the tactical things the systems that you needed to have in place weren't in place so those things were valuable but what has been more valuable is me being able to embody the person that could walk out the vision so I share with you that there are three stages and I go into detail about this in my 3D Brand Masterclass. I'm, I'm not launching that, right? I'm just sharing with you. This is where I really break this particular part down at. But the stage, and these are different stages. I call them creator stages. And when God has given us a vision, most often times, unless we've done some inner work or we're at a different level of alignment. We begin off in the Genesis, what I call, these are things I've coined. Uh, these are all creator stages. We begin at the Genesis creator stage. And it's a lot going on there. I, I describe it more, as I said before, in, in one of my master classes. And then we have um, the, the stage where we are the self-creator. And then we have a stage where we are actually co-creating. Now for each of those stages, there are also archetypes. If you saw my post earlier this morning, I talked about different archetypes. I didn't break them down. It's just too much to embody for this type of setting. But for those of you who are in my world behind the scenes, um, these are things that I break down and that I will be focusing on even more because Remember, I talked about how important it is for us to embody the person that can become the thing. And so what's happening for me, what's happening for my brand, even the name Renew Full Circle. This was something God gave me, what, it's been 10, 10 years ago? And, and it's all coming full circle now. It's been this gradual thing, but it's truly coming full circle in a way that I didn't always have the language to be able to express. I hope this is making sense. And it's crazy because many of the clients who come to me about, you know, building their 3D brand, they don't have the language to express what they're trying to do in the world or how they're trying to embody it. And one of my superpowers is helping them to, you know, find that language uh, the the feeling of their brand so that they can better express it in the marketplace and attract their perfect people but when you when you're doing it yourself right then it it can take longer when you're just trying to figure that thing out on your own and so the renew full circle brand is in a stage of of evolution an expansion and I'm sharing this with you because you'll probably be able to find many spaces of, of where I am in building my brand in your own reality as well so I was sharing with you that the person that can embody the 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 evolution of your brand is often found in your vision now your vision continues to grow and expand. So as you reach this next person who can handle this one phase of the vision, now the vision has grown even more. Anybody else experience that? The vision continues to grow and expand. But what happens is as you do your work, you catch up with the vision. My God in heaven. As you do your work, you catch up with the vision. And so I'm just coming off of what I call a productive rest month where like I'm always doing my work all year long, but I get to spend like that focus time, like really looking at what's transpiring, like how have I changed and, and how do I need to change as I move forward to embody this bigger vision, 
you know that I've seen that's been downloaded to me that I'm walking out and when we don't take the time to do that type of internal work we find ourselves just kind of going through the motions and it starts to look the same like everything we're doing what we're doing day in and day out and many of you if you follow me you have a desire to live a fully expressed life not just cookie cutter not just at one level but one where you are in a consistent state of, of growth and learning where you get to fully express who you are your 3d essence your your 3d brand those those are the the women who I'm most connected to what it is that I do and you know my time of productive rest also helped me to identify like who are these women that are coming into my space and there are many things that I've been afraid to share because of this new space of evolution that I've walked into but I'm learning as my clients, many of them repeat clients who've been working with me for five years now, right? Since I decided to bring my work online, they're just as connected to the deeper aspects of things and, and growing from more of a full circle perspective and you know peeling back layers as I am. And so just simply giving myself permission, which is what you'll have to do, give yourself permission to really step into that full embodiment of the person that can actually um, have the capacity for that big vision that you have right I said remember I said as you do your work you you'll catch up with the vision and not not the doing stuff but the being stuff so sometimes as I shared before like the language for what was transpiring with my brand I didn't always have the words for it um, and what's happening now is I'm able to create these archetypes and archetypes are simply you know an identity it's a space of being that usually happens at different stages and also gives you something to aspire for so I couldn't create those archetypes before I didn't have the language for it that would actually resonate with my clients and so sometimes you have this download or this vision that you don't have the language for <clears throat> right and one of the things that happens with um, adapting the language for what it is that you're trying to do in the world is a new mindset. So oftentimes I didn't have the mindset for the downloads that I was getting. And so when we don't have the mindset, when we still have limiting beliefs about the possibility of it or you know does that even sound right most of the time we're judging it based on external things based on the world's way and this is why we have you know a lot of cookie cutter things going on but most of the time when we can't find the language for what it is that we really want to do and how we want to show up in the world it's because we also don't have the mindset for that yet right because it's, it's levels to this whole thing the mindset all all of it the capacity it's, it's levels to it and so we can't even really express what our real desires are and what we're trying to do until we tap into a new space in in our mindset and so when you can fully express it in your heart and your mind that's when you can fully be it and sometimes it means unlearning some things and then sometimes it means relearning some things and this is where full circle moments come in so I share with you there may have been something that a coach or a mentor shared with me and I didn't fully embrace it I didn't have the mindset uh, to embrace it and so I couldn't fully be that thing but taking the time to slow down in my process and practice taking the time to slow down in my process to practice actually moves me forward faster and so this is for those of you who have this big vision and maybe you didn't have the mindset at the time to embrace it maybe there were some limiting beliefs I want to share with you 
as you do your work, the easier it becomes to embrace that new version of yourself that can actually walk it out. So I want to share with you all uh, how the coming on talking about full circle moment, you know, even came to be for me as, as today's message I'm, I'm riding. You guys probably have realized that I get downloads while I'm riding. So I'm out, you know, running some errands. And I started thinking about a conversation I had with one of my clients. We were talking about vision and I'm really you know transparent with my clients you know behind the scenes and I share some things that I don't share publicly but we were talking about vision she was sharing hers and um, I began sharing parts of mine and it was just amazing how I'm thinking that this vision is uh, too far stretched for people and it's absolutely in alignment with her. So part of that vision was uh, an, a specific amount of acreage that I want and what I want to be doing on that particular property. And uh, if you're new, I was previously married for about 14 years. I've been divorced now for going on four years. It may be four, maybe three. I kind of lose count. Okay. And so I've recently, I don't know if, maybe a year is considered recently but I have embraced dating and in one of my dating conversations my you know what did I want to do where did I see myself my vision was a question that was asked and I mentioned these acres so a little time goes on and they mention um, you know I have that much land so I hear it it comes up again and over time many of the things that have been a vision of mine are coming to the surface and there's this alignment that I was just kind of overlooking and I want to tell you why I was overlooking it so a past version of me was a runner when it came to connection any of you ever been a runner where you're saying you want this particular thing, but every time it presents itself to you, you run or you shut down or you think that couldn't possibly be it. It may feel like deja vu, like something you've even heard before, but you don't give yourself permission. And so you run from it either it doesn't mean you necessarily physically move away from maybe the person that's mentioning it, mentioning it or the, the direct conversation, but you move away from it emotionally. You, you kind of, you're, you're having the conversation, but you're kind of blocking out the possibility of the thing. Because you understand that the possibility means that you have to become another person. You have to become a different version of yourself. So a past version of me was a runner when it came came to connection so I would take some risk in my entrepreneurial journey and in my business life but as it related to relationships I would kind of play it safe I would even date down my gosh and have anybody else I'm going somewhere with this I would even date down because dating down meant I did not have to grow. I didn't have to embrace another version of myself. I didn't have to face things that may have been difficult about me, difficult for me to accept. Anybody else? This is so heavy, guys, right? So if, if it went against what I currently believed, like my current mindset or my current way of being, I shut it out, emotionally at least, right? And so what what happens when you're a runner as it relates to connection, you also limit your ability to learn. You limit your capacity. You limit your ability to grow when you're a runner. 
So it's like having this vision, having these ideals, having these goals, these dreams that you desire, but when you're faced with an opportunity to actually step into it and embrace it, you run or just shut down emotionally. You may agree through your mouth, but you don't embody it from a cellular level. You don't allow yourself to go there, right? So the past version of me also struggled with receiving. Anybody else? Now, I didn't think I struggled with receiving, but I did. And, you know, it, it may be like if I needed help, I would wait until the last minute. Instead of understanding that I deserved help, I deserved support, how feminine it was to, to be supported, right? I even had this thing where I said, well, if they want to help, they go, they'll help. <laughs> you know, like people are obligated to read our minds or to just come and give us things, you know, and that does happen, right? You get in a space where you have embodied receiving enough where things just, you know, begin coming to you. Um, but, but there are levels even to that. And so as I was having this full circle moment today, I thought about how, how much I have changed, how much I've grown, how much I've evolved. So much so, um, the other day I had about five people to unsubscribe from my email list, and for, but it happened, it's not that I don't get unsubscribes, right? But it seemed to all happen like in this 24 hour time frame, and I was like, whoa, you know, what happened? But then I thought about it and I realized I am my brand is coming full circle. I am evolving. My language is different. Um, my in attention span or direction rather is different. Uh, where I'm choosing to give my energy is is completely different. And it's resonating different for different people. So for some they may be triggered. For some, it just may not be what they want to hear, right? And for some, it's just not in alignment. But at some point, you have to be okay with your evolution if you want that thing that you said you truly desire. You have to be okay because some of the people, this is from an entrepreneurial standpoint, that unfollow, unsubscribe, don't connect, don't respond, are just not in that space in that season but it doesn't mean that you don't continue to evolve and sometimes the the old things are so familiar and it requires such a new energy and a new effort to embrace something that we don't know that we haven't done before to go somewhere and I mean internally where we're thinking about our thinking and our mindset and, and all of those things, it requires a new level of us. It requires understanding that some of that old stuff will fall away. But if you understand that you'll have full circle moments where you actually come back to where you, who you were before or where, where you were before rather, but as a new version of yourself, but only when you reach a certain level of capacity and that work is not the doing stuff. It's not the doing stuff. How many of you have had a full circle moment where you're like, oh wow, I remember this was a part of my vision. Or you'll hear something and you'll say, hey, that's familiar. I've heard that before. And maybe it was a download that you got years ago, but you never embraced it. You never did that thing. And listen, if you don't get an alignment, if you don't launch that thing that's in your heart, the likelihood of you waking up and hearing someone else talk about the 3D brand that was downloaded on the inside of you, using language and words that you know were given to you, but you didn't do anything with someone else will launch your idea. Someone else will walk it out. 
I believe that, so one, I believe the scripture tells us that our lives are transformed by the renewing of our minds. I believe there's a space that this journey is getting us back to where God originally designed us to be, do and have uh, joy, peace, love, abundance. I believe there was an original space and our journey is taking us back to that space. But when we get there, it's a, it's a new version of us. It's a new version of us. But for those of you who have something in your heart that you know you're called to do that's bigger than where you are now. Number one, you got to stop running. Remember I shared with you guys before, and I know what running looks like because I was a runner, <laughs> right? And you need to learn to receive on a different level. And sometimes we cover up what we need to do next with busy work, with tasks, and or even just starting something new. But I promise you, if that desire was placed in your heart, if God placed that desire in your heart, it, it just keeps coming back up. It just continues to come back up. And oftentimes, when we first got it, we just didn't have the mindset to embrace it. There's some things we got to unlearn so that we have the capacity to actually be the person that could walk that thing out. And mindset is so huge. God blessed us so much with this tool, right? And our job is to continue renewing our mind, continue renewing our mind, unlearning some things, becoming aware of some things, being open to even new possibility. I'm thinking about all these things and they're, you know, it's personal stuff. So, um, and it's good things that are coming before me where I had to catch myself being resistant. And then I'm like, listen, this is a full circle moment. This is a part of your vision. This is how you saw things. This is the type of person you asked for, ideally, to be in your life. This is someone who embodies all of you, right? They match you, your desire to know more spiritually. Like we talking about Nephilim and, and angels. We study, really can study the things of God. Not everybody wants to understand on that level, right? They can embody my intellect, my entrepreneurial spirit, my desire to grow, you know, being a visionary. They can, they have polarity with my femininity and their masculinity. Like, okay, isn't this... <laughs> Isn't this what you asked for? Are you having a full circle moment in your life when you see certain things and it really resonates, but you shut it off because you're a runner or because you have not learned to receive at a different level? For many of you, if you offer a service, you're often the person doing the service. And so you haven't embraced being served. In whatever capacity that looks like maybe you're often the teacher maybe you're the person that people come to for information and so you haven't embraced being a student in a while but you know that it's too many signs it's coming back to back to back there are too many full circle moments happening that you simply aren't embracing so that's my take on today. I wanted to talk about a full circle moment. I felt that this message, the timing of this message was important. I felt that everything that I needed to say that I wrote on my little note cards here <laughs> were super important. Like somebody at this moment in this time needed to hear these things as it was given to me in order for them to, to move forward in whatever capacity it is that you need to move forward. Whether, whether it's um, learning to receive differently or not being a runner, not running from the vision, not running from the full circle moments. Whatever it was that you need, uh, my prayer is that I provided that for you today. This may be confirmation for some of you 
as you are, you know, really wanting to embrace your your vision and goals for 2023. And then there are others of you who want support as you're embodying the person that has the capacity to hold the vision that you have, right? While you are growing from one phase to to another, while you're embracing the mindset that can actually fully, you know, operate at that um, specific space. If that's you, uh, if you've been watching and connecting, you know, my She Prospers again is open for enrollment where we deep dive on mindset and uncovering limiting beliefs and just accessing another version of you so that you have the capacity for what it is that you're building so that you have the awareness that's needed for your next. Um, I'll leave that in the comments. Those of you who are on YouTube who want different levels of support, you can find all the ways to support me in the um, description box. For those of you who are watching me live now, and you want to know different ways of support, you can message me here on this page. I'll come back and put the link to the current program that is offering enrollment. That window of time to enroll is a short window of time before I move into another phase of, of invitations for those of you who are wanting to grow. Again, let me know if this works for you. If you catch me on the replay, hashtag replay. If you've been here before, hashtag uh, renew. And for everybody, be sure to say hello in the comments. That's my take.